Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we are doing a somewhat of a big unboxing haul. So let's get to it without further delay. We got the Fly Collection. This is from Scream Factory. This brings five movies. So let's see which ones they are. The Fly from 1958, Return of the Fly from 1959, Curse of the Fly from from 1965 the fly from 1986 that is the the one that i watch with jeff uh, goldblum and the fly 2 from 1989 and i think that's with his son uh, not jeff goldblum's son but the character's son so let's get to it let's open this puppy up let's see what this is all about All right, so the fly collection, here we have the back of it, the spine, something in the back, and right there on the top. So some of them, it's weird. It goes from black and white to color to black and white again. That's the first one. Get it in frame. Once it was human, even as you and I. Pretty cool. So that's the fly. Then we have the return of the fly, and I think this is in color. I think the first one was in color. It does say it on the back. Look at that. That's pretty cool. It's in like 60s horror movies and then the curse of the fly there we go. <clears throat> so let me see how they had this this one's in color but on the back it's in black and white black and white and black and white I think they're all in black and white I'll check that. Then we have the next two. The fly, be afraid. Be very afraid. That's cool. And then the fly too. I do remember this one. Oh, he was right there. Wow, all right, pretty cool. All right, so we set this to the side. <clears throat> Next one, we have this Fritz Long's Indian Epic. There's two movies here. Uh, the Tiger of Eshnarpur and the In Indian Tomb. So this is a, a two-part, same universe, continuation of the movie. Sequel, per se. So kind of heavy, but we do have a booklet. This is from Film Movement Classics. All right, that's pretty cool. So we do have a little booklet. And I'm curious to see if there's actually Indian people in this movies maybe just as extras probably hey hollywood was rough back in the day so this is the german i think he's a german architect mm, i don't remember the whole story but it's cool yeah he's a follow a german architect harold harald berger Burger. All right, so that is <clears throat> from Film Movement Classics. And that's the first movie I get from them. That's pretty cool. Now we can't be without It Chapter 2. This is in 4K and digital. I do like the, the black cases on these 4Ks. Kind of different. 
Reminds me a little bit of the PS4 red cases where it's like let you know that those are the older ones. Which I could use those cases for like some of the red horror movies I have. These little light bulbs went up. It chapter two. Here's the back. Brings Blu-ray. This is a survey. Hmm, okay. There's a disc. Nothing too fancy. Some people dropping stuff in the back. There's a whole spine. Here's the back. That's pretty cool. I'll be watching this on Horror Game. And always my bad luck. A little bit of a damage on the slip cover. You can see it right around there. All right, so that is it, chapter two. Now let's open this one, Ultraman Ultra 7. This is from Mill Creek. This is series number three. I already have one and two. So this is number three, so let's get to it. I really like these from Mill Creek. Um, I have the Mothra one and the other two. And they bring a slip cover, a plastic cover. That's already a protective thing for your steelbooks. I know some Mondo steelbooks bring it, but you can see it's a plastic sleeve. With the title on it, and then you get the steel book there. So let's get to the steel book. One loose disc. We can remove the disc. So we have the disc here. And then the other discs. This one's upside down. So now, what do we have here? We have some weird artwork. I have no clue what that is. <clears throat> and then this one. So that's pretty cool. Now let's set this to the side. We have the booklet. Ultraman Ultra 7. Empty, empty. All right, so that's the booklet. That's the back of it. It does have a protective little film, so you can remove it and it's nice and shiny. Protects your investment a little bit. Now, last but not least, we have this one. This is Quentin Tarantino's ninth film. This is Once Upon a Time in Hollywood Collector's Edition, which is pretty cool. So let's get to open. Let's get, get to it. All right, so this brings 4K Ultra HD, the Blu-ray, and the digital. Brings a whole bunch of extras. It's ridiculous. The size of it, it's almost like the, the ones from Studio Ghibli, the, the special edition ones, the collector ones. It's like elongated. All right, and let's open this one. So we have this J car with the booger, which I completely hate these boogers. Ew. All right, so. Let's see. I've never seen this one. I haven't even checked uh, YouTube for any unboxing, so this is the first time I see this. So that's pretty cool. Let's see. You guys have got to see it first, so not me. All right, so we have a Mad Magazine. All right, so that's pretty cool. It's a little Mad Magazine here. Actually, it's pretty cool. So we have a comic book in here. We have our digital download that is stuck with some goo. 
Right, so that goes in there. Rick Dalton. We have a old school poster. What does it say? Operazione Dinomite. So it's like a wannabe talent poster. Pretty cool. Nothing on the back. So that's two things there. I did hear about this. This is an actual 45 LP. That's pretty cool because I do have a record player, so I'll be playing that. So what does it have? Paul Revere and the Raiders, good thing. And then Los Bravos bringing a little loving. So two songs, of course, if you know 45s, you know what it is. But that I've never seen in a set before. Then we have the movies. We get the 4K Ultra HD. And then we have the Blu-ray. And a very nice touch. They brought the adapter for the 45. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. Nothing in there. That is the first time I ever in my life seen that. So let's look at this again. We have the 1969 where the comic book and poster goes. We have the 45 disc and then that's the uh, disc holders. On the back, we have like a giant landscape poster. This is pretty cool. If you ask me, this is a pretty cool set. All right, guys, that is it for today. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, to give a thumbs up, and to check the description. All the items here will be linked in the description. That is it for today. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye-bye.